with PCI Photo. This is the second volume in our how to use our account uh, system sort of tutorial. Um, we set up the photo shoot in the previous one and now that shoot is done and we have sent you this link right here which is going to basically say hey your pictures are ready come get them and it's going to look like that. There's going to be website links in there. This one is actually already active. This is the full Monty. If you remember, that's what we ordered. So you can do everything from right here. So let's going to go. Our first thing we want to do is we're going to go. We're going to click this login page right here, which is going to take you to here. We've already logged in. So now we have our our um, our photo shoot is good to go, and we want to see the pictures. Once we are here, you have your site media. Um, this is going to have all the pictures and everything that we've done to it. And this one had a floor plan, so the floor plan is going to be down there. Um, and there's, uh, there's a lot you can do from this point. You can drag these around any way you want. And this is actually going to be uh, important because you're going to want to do um, you're going to want to do different things. Obviously, you want to download them. We'll get to that one in just a minute. Actually, just click right here, and you'll go to the download page. Let's just go ahead and do that. We're going to we're going to go here to the download page, agree to our little copyright license, which you have to do to go further. And then, if you click this, this one will get you, obviously, that's the link to, to just the virtual tour, if there is one. Uh, if you had a video, it would also give you the link to that. Now, you can do a couple things here. Usually, you're probably going to want to do them all at this point. So just um, you're going to download all file. This this section here is to download them all. If you want to download individual ones, then you just click on the one that you want to do, and you can either do it here or you can just do the MLS size, which is small, which I actually don't recommend. If you're going to do them, um, if you're going to use them. The print quality is going to be better. So just click print quality, and it's going to go ahead and download that picture immediately for you, just like that. And you can see it's downloaded already. Or if you hit the print quality up here, it's going to download them all in that same fashion, but it's going to put them into a zip folder for you. So anyway, that's how you download and get your pictures. There's the floor plan right there. Same thing. You can download that if you want that separately. All right. So we're going to go back to the site media page. And again, we can, we can make these larger or smaller. You make them whatever size you want. You can, if you want to move a whole bunch of them at once, you may want to take this whole section and make it appear at the end of the website because this is the this is the order that they're going to appear in your website. So you probably don't want to start off with a whole bunch of miscellaneous aerials, uh, or maybe you do. Who knows? If you don't want a picture to be showing up in your website, like this is a picture of me, and that's the seller. But we don't really want to have that in the website. We were just having fun. So we just turned that little eyeball off, and now it's no longer going to show in any of the social media pieces or on the website. Or if you want to just trash it, you can just trash it, and bang, it's gone. So you're in total control of this website from this day forward. All right, so we've rearranged these. Let's see. Let's put a kitchen shot up in here. Maybe this shot. The reason I'm rearranging these real quick for you is because want to illustrate that the pictures that are in the top row here are going to be when you go to the marketing kit that's what it's going to use so let's just show you what I'm going to mean this will take you to a quick preview of your website at any point so you can see it's all ready for you but it's lacking a lot of the information which you need to fill out and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute the 360 tour is there for you you can go ahead and play around with that you can shrink this if you want Get it out of the way. You can go through it if you want. It's kind of a neat way to look at a house. Anyway, go down here. All your pictures are here, and magically they're in the order that the you set them in the media piece. Scroll down. There's your there's the floor plan. So great. What are we going to do with that? What we want to do with that is we want to use some of the tools that are in the marketing kit. So let's go to the marketing kit. In here, you're going to find a wealth of information. Obviously, we've got links to the website, branded, non-branded, 
long and short. I don't really know why they want the short ones, but they're there. These QR codes also will take you right to the website, and they're actually automatically going to be appear on a lot of your marketing materials for you, so you don't have to do a whole lot. If you haven't downloaded your photos, there's another chance to do it from this page. The flyers, printable materials, and attachments, this is kind of neat because it kind of shows you um, in a snap what I mean by having the pictures in the order. If you look at the pictures behind you, that's the top row of pictures for you. You can print that. Your clients can print that. You can download it in several different formats. A great thing to do here is print these out and put them at your open house. Um, and it's automatically going to fill in. Uh, I didn't put my picture in it, but it'll put your picture in it. It'll put whatever you put in for the description right here. This QR code, again, takes you back to the website. So it's very handy to have it at a... Um, at your open houses. All right, so let's go back here. So in addition to the, the printable stuff, you can go down there, there's all sorts of social media tiles. And again, all these are editable. So you just click on one, it's like, oh, okay, just listed, let's use this one, but we're gonna edit it, or you know, let's just edit one real quick. So maybe you don't want that picture to be in there, but we wanna have that picture to be in there takes just a second and you can just drag these over. Sure it does. You can resize these also however you want to size them. So you're going to click on the one that you want to change. See, we want to change that one. We'll just double click that and it goes right in. And you can resize that. You can move it around. You can change that text. So we want to say, this is a big ripoff. <laughs> or whatever you want to say, you can actually customize these any way you want. Just kind of having some fun with it. So and that's uh, available on any of these uh, myriad of social media tiles, or you can get creative and make your own. The some of them are sized to Facebook. That one's kind of a handy. I use that one a lot. If you use Pinterest, that's that one's already done for you. And down here, there's site videos, and you can see these are being created. Every time you make a change, it's going to recreate these for you, so you don't have to update these. It does it for you. These are basically slideshows of the images from the gallery. The teaser one goes really quick. It's like two seconds an image. Um, the wide is just a wider format of it, and the rest of them are just longer versions of it. So makes a real easy way for you to make some um, splash on social media without having to do a whole lot of work. Just pick one of these, hit download, it downloads over here, and you can pop it right onto Facebook. So you can be up and running in five minutes. All right, what else do we have to do here? Go back to the site media again. You can drag these around. Let's say we want to de delete them. You can delete them. You can put just your favorites if you want. You can use the favorite tool, um, and you can go from there. The site design, you can go to the site design and there's a whole bunch of different ones. I'm not going to get into all of them here, but if you click the site design, you can scroll down here and click these and it's going to give you a little uh, preview of what they're going to look like. And then when you find one that you fell in love with, just pick that one. If you find one that you really like, you can make that be your default and it'll everyone you do from this point on will be on there. So. Uh, the one that we were looking at was up here. It was one of the Nova series. I don't know. And the nice thing about this particular one is it does a little bit of a slideshow going through here, so there's a little bit of motion going on for it. So anyway, pick whichever one you want, and that's the one that'll be. And that's going to be about it for this part of the tutorial. Um, if you decide you have any more questions, feel free to you know, text me or email me or call me or use telepathy, whatever floats your boat, and we will get it through you. Up down here, I just noticed you can put music to it as well. You can pick it or you can put Surprise Me, and it'll give you a little preview of it. And then you can go back there, and all the changes will be right there. Anyway, you guys have a great day. Again, if you have questions, give me a shout. My number is 772-201-3684. Thank you, and sell